Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. I brought props. I see. Should be good. Should be good. Marcy Scheide is here. Marcy! Brunner is here. Hey -o. Susie Rhodes. That means Logan is probably here. Hey, Logan. That light is really bright when you look at it. Mm -hmm. Steph Schneck. Hey, Steph. Hi, my girl I love. Gwen is here. Gwen says hi to Logan. <laughs> Melissa Noyes is watching. Hey. We'll probably others. Melinda McGrory is here. Hi. Neil Putt is watching. Josie says hi. Marcy Shiny says good Hello. afternoon to everybody. Mary Helena. Mary Helena, we've been trying to reach you. You can call the office and give us a new phone number, please. <laughs> Mike Henry is watching. Dawn Fry is watching. Jeannie hey, Boyer is watching. All right. Melissa Noyes says hello to everybody. Kathy Shirk is watching. Hey, hi. I hope you're doing well on your recovery, Kathy. Kathy Stetson right. is watching. So we're all the way up to New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Uh, Victoria Eglin, Vicki Eglin's watching. Yay! Russ Klein, recovering at home, is watching. Hey, thanks be to God. Amanda Oberlin is watching. Christine Shank Prim. Oh, Chris Prim, thank you. <laughs> you got all these names on your head. This is great. Out. I feel like I should have a puppet Greg for Pastor Bill's voice. Greg and are both watching. That's good. Great. Carolyn Brooks is watching. Hey. So we're down south as well. Yep. They have snow in New Hampshire. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Courtney Morris is watching. Elaine hey. Shardle is watching. Hey. Linda Schneider is watching. Says hello, friends. Hello. Linda Purden is watching. Linda McGuire is watching. Hopefully. I think we're good. Okay. All right. Well, good afternoon and welcome to our noontime devotion. I'm going to start with a reading from Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarded its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. I can only imagine that for some folks, maybe even you, it's tough to be at home. My mother-in-law, Mama Maria, is a mover and a shaker. She thrives on being out and about and connecting pe with people and shopping and being with people, especially going out to eat meals with people. This is a tough time for her and others who thrive just like her in groups, in being with others, and even being outside of the house. As I sat at my desk yesterday, I was thinking about what it's like to be in one place, especially on your own or even if you live with family. But I got to thinking, who surrounds me or who surrounds you? The letter to Hebrews reminds us that we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. Who are those witnesses? As I looked around my office, I realized that I have reminders of the great cloud of witnesses in my life. Billy's always next to me on my desk. I've got my sister and my nephew Chase at a tea party. I've got some of my fellow crop walkers. I've got this amazing adventure at Hershey. <laughs> And then I have this collection of just my sister and me and of me and my friend Terry at a wedding and my in-laws. Um, I don't know who else is here. Oh, I should do this too. Um, and my, my roommate. Oh, look, it's Robin. She's in the office right now, but there's Robin. Um, and then my roommate from seminary, Steph. We had a very laughable moment that day. From Billy to my family to my many friends, there is a great cloud of witnesses that surround me in all I do and say, even when I'm in the office. 
Who is surrounding you right now? If you live alone or are part of a small family, it may be tough to see the bigger company of saints that surrounds you. I hope that as you connect here with us this day, you see the cloud of witnesses that gather in this time and this space to listen, that you see the names go up of the people listening in this group right now, that we are gathered together to listen and to love and to support one another. But I would also encourage you to look around your home. Who are the saints that surround you there? Who is surrounding you right now? Where are the pictures in your house of the great cloud of witnesses who surround you? Where can you put those faces or those pictures so you know that they are surrounding you right now? I believe Miss Logan has pictures of her people up on her bedroom wall, at least she used to. Sometimes I've heard she looks through the directory to see the faces of the people whom she loves. I think now is a great time as individuals or families to look around your house for those pictures. Look through albums, pull out pictures to put on your fridge or maybe do a collage that you can see those faces all together right now. Maybe you do an entire family collage or individual members may do their own so they can be placed in their bedrooms or in common spaces. So you see those saints, those witnesses here now. Take some time today to gather those saints and those witnesses together. Be reminded of the saints that surround you each and every day. You are not alone. You are loved. You are prepared for this very time and place because of the amazing generations of saints who have gone before you, who have taught you and loved you so that you may live and love this day. You, we, are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. Take time to make them visible in your home. Feel their presence, their love and support this day and all days. And let all God's people say, Amen. And now for a few of our daily announcements. I wanna thank you for joining us this day. It is good for us to gather together. Our noon devotions continue here live on Facebook Monday through Friday, and you are invited to share these with others or invite people to watch with you. As you join us for Holden Evening Prayer, our live stream tomorrow at 7.30 p.m., you are invited to light a candle in your home or turn on a nightlight to be reminded of the light of Christ as we worship together. Sarah's Choir will be live again on Facebook this Thursday night at 6.15. You can tune in for some singing, dancing, joy, and prayer time with the littlest in our congregation. Worship this weekend will be live on Facebook at 9 a.m., similar to last week, with music, scripture, a sermon, and a visit from Holy Cow, and a time to pray together. We've just heard word that the blood drive originally scheduled for April 14th at St. Francis is canceled. So if you are healthy, I will preface that, if you are healthy and able to donate at this time, please either give a call or a visit to Miller Keystone Blood Center. Um, it's a good time to give that gift of life right now. So if you are physically healthy and able to do that, please do that. We are taking orders for Easter flowers. The order form was in last month's newsletter and it will go out in this month, in April's newsletter as well. So those forms can be dropped off or mailed into the church office. And another reminder to be in touch with the church office with any needs or prayer requests during this time. We are here for you. Let us close our time together in prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for the many ways we have already seen you and will continue to see you this day. Thank you for this time to come together to hear your word, to connect to the body of Christ, and be reminded of all the saints that surround us. Hold us in your care this day and all days. Remember us in your kingdom as you have taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the God of all steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another. May you depart from evil and do good, 
May you seek peace and pursue it. May you go from this gathering wrapped in God's grace now and forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.